Good morning and namaskar to everyone. My name is Nimesh Kulal and I am from Duhavitri Sunsari, Nepal. Currently, I am pursuing my B.Tech in third year in Computer Science Engineering in Guru Nanak Institute of Technical Campus, Hyderabad. Firstly, I want to congratulate the B.U. Napoji who are really doing a great thing and initiating a space program in Nepal. I also want to thank the entire team of B.U. Napoji who had given me the wonderful opportunity to speak about me and about our project that we are doing for the Indian Space Research Organization. Today I will tell you about our project, you know, that is a CubeSat for asteroid mining. This is the idea of me and one of my college mates, Mr. Bhanu Mirgoju. Uh, currently our project in the construction phase. So I will start from the CubeSat, you know. A CubeSat is a small spacecraft, you know, that orbit the Earth. A CubeSat is a shape like a cube, you know. Uh, which has equal length, breadth and a height. That's why it is called has a one unit, you know, because it is a lightweight, you know, lightweight, low power consumption and which can be held in our hand. Secondly, I will tell you about the asteroid, you know, an asteroid is a planetary object, you know, which are orbiting the sun. Uh, it is hard and rocky material made of dust and ice, which are mainly found in the orbit of the Mars and Jupiter. So what is the use and benefit of asteroid mining, you know? See, asteroid mining is an exploitation of raw material from an asteroid or from the near Earth orbit object. So, asteroids are enriched in uh, different metals, you know, they are enriched by gold, silver, you know, platinum, palladium, rhodium, you know, osmium and other many precious material. So, minerals can be mined from the asteroid and that can be taken back to the Earth. Uh, Similarly, I will tell you the what is an impact of an asteroid. See, despite their sizes, you know, they are really dangerous. Many have hit, turned the earth at past and more will be crosses our planet on the upcoming future day. That's the one reason, you know, scientists are doing much more research and they are eagerly want to know the much more about their sizes, orbit and their chemical composition. They are also different uh, classes of an asteroid based on the composition there are C type, S type and M type firstly I will tell you the C type which is also called as the carbonaceous uh, asteroid you know they are grey in color it consists of uh, clay and rocky silicate secondly uh, there is S type asteroid which is also called as siliceous asteroid uh, which are greenish and in reddish color it also consists of uh, different silicates, nickel and platinum. Lastly, uh, metalli metallic asteroid or M-type asteroid. Uh, it is also reddish in color, you know, but it is a composition of 80% uh, iron and 20% mixture of gold, silver, you know, platinum, palladium, osmanium, rhodium and other many precious material. So this is all about an asteroid and its type. but Right now, I want to go in to my main project, you know, what are the things that we had did in our project and that what we are going to do in our CubeSat. I will tell you the major component that would, what we had used in our CubeSat. See, firstly, we had used a spectrometer, you know, a spectrometer is a scientific instrument which separate and measure the, you know, spectral component of the physical object. See, just before I had said you about the different types and classes of an asteroid, uh, this spectrometer helps to analyze those uh, asteroids, you know, those types of an asteroid. So, how does this spectrometer work? See, this spectrometer separates the, you know, particle mass and, you know, particle mass and atom by their mass momentum and energy. So, moreover, it will help to find the chemical uh, composition of an asteroid. Secondly, we had huge uh, ADCS, you know, that is a altitude determination and control system which helps to orientate our CubeSat in the space. Thirdly, you have used an uh, OBC, you know, onboard computer, which is also called as a brain of the satellite, you know, that we have to send the uh, information with the other soft system and also it will make sure that you know make assure that the satellite is working properly in a good manner or not fourthly we are using a communication chip you know 
communication chip is also one of the most important thing you know that will helps to communicate between the ground station or the mission controller to the uh, cube set in the space fifthly we had use an eps you know electric power system you know uh, which consists of battery you know that will provide a power supply for the cube set uh, sixthly we are also using a solar panel you know we are using a high efficient solar panel which helps to recharge the battery in the eps uh, seventhly we are using a telescope you know which helps to uh, see the far celestial body and lastly we are using the antenna you know and antenna plays a very vital role you know in any cube sat you know in any communication because which helps to transmit the signal from the ground station to the cube sat in the space so these are the equipment that what we are using you know in our project so our project right now our project is in construction phase so we are working in that so i want to conclude my all point over here see do the keep set may be small you know they can definitely perform like a big satellite you know in a whole manner the power of a keep set will be reveal you know when they start working together for example by launching a constellation of satellite in the space you know we can assure that every area on earth can be you know signalized you know can be properly uh, covered by that satellite which is really impossible by one satellite we need a passionate people to create a progress in this world and also in the field of space so my dear friend you know a uh, keep set you know can be a great means to motivate a student to work on the scientific and also in the technical problem uh, keep set can be a you know a great exciting you know experience for you to know about more about the space thank you very much everyone thank you very much sudip vikram adhikari brother and rakesh chandra prajapati sir uh, you people are really doing a great thing for the future of nepal in the space field i pray to god we definitely has to get success in the upcoming day and every people can feel proud you know that nepal has its own satellite in the space lastly i want to say something to my dear friend you know see my dear friend you have to make a habit of learning new things you know so keep on learning you know new things keep on try 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 unless so miracle happens but never ever give up in your life thank you very much thank you very much everyone uh, jai desh jai nepal jai vikyan